What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Red Crimson 102. I've got a super rare games unboxing for you guys, or should I say a super rare game unboxing? What game that is? I'm sure you already know from looking at the title. But if you didn't look at the title and you just randomly, blindly clicked on this channel because you saw the wonderful box art, well, you're about to find out what game this is. So let's get into it. But before I do, let's take a look at this card. Super rare games. It's basically a thank you card. If you're having any issues, contact them within 14 days and they'll resolve that issue. How nice of them. After all these years, I'm still doing unboxing videos and why not? You know the boy gets new games often. Okay, and uh, um, I actually ordered this game way back in February. I did good though, I did really good because I actually wanted to badly download a digital version, but I held out, I held out. And I got lucky and I seen that this game was selling physically on super rare games and I had no idea they were making a physical edition for this game so you know your boy had to jump on it quick fast and the digital game isn't it doesn't cost that much I forgot how much it is I think maybe thirty dollars which is not bad it, it goes on sale here and there not as often but when it do go on sale they only drop it by like five dollars I think the game is $35 anyway. I can't even, I don't remember. 30, it could have been 30, 40, I can't remember. I mean, it's, it's, I heard it's a short game, but either way, it's worth it. I played the demo, I love the demo, especially on the Steam Deck. It was just as good on the Switch. Well, let me just go ahead and start ranting and open it up. Wow. I actually didn't even need my knife this time. AKA letter opener. Slide it out. Wow, this thing is. You know what? I might not I'm gonna try not to damage the plastic. I might be able to use it as a protective sleeve. And let's go up a little bit more so we can see more all right we have a better look at the packaging wave tail surf the waters of submerged city this game is so cool man the music is legit in this game as well too you know i'm a big soundtrack guy wow What do you know? Found the use of my knife. And if anybody's a fan of this game, let me know what you what you think about it, man. And what system do you prefer to play it on? Even though I'm a big physical collector, I still buy digital games. Sometimes I doubled it. Well, most of the time I doubled it. Sometimes even tripled it and quadruple dip because I like to play it on different systems instead of like bringing out you know um, a specific system just to play the game wow this game comes with a lot of goodies we have an art card right here I guess it's showing the world. Wow, it's a very small world. Postcard. So, that's the world of Wavetail. Not very big. Heard it's a very, very short game. I wonder why they made it short. But sometimes some games are short and sweet. Like how they made a, um, the box art different from the cartridge art. And whoo, whoo, 
Wow. I wonder, I wonder why they always have this outline on the um, steel book. It's hard to find out where. Like they're trying to make it a portrait or something. The back is dope. Alright. Let's open the steel book first. Let's see we don't have to bust it open out of the wrapper. Cause there is no wrapper. You gotta respect the in game box art. And it was, as we all know, the packaging always look better when it's out of the wrapping. Same picture as the, the box on the right. Just smaller. Zelda music. Get a good look at the cartridge. Wavetail. And you guys know how I feel about my manuals. You guys know I love my manuals. And just like Red Crimson style, I always take out the in game art so we all can get a closer look at it. Looks like a um, some kind of indoor greenhouse. You know, cute little games like these, man, that are actually really good, always deserve physical edition. I'm gonna flip through the manual here for those people that's interested in the game and wanna see what the manual look like and see if they, you know, they wanna go through the trouble of getting a physical edition just so, <clears throat> you know, they can get a manual and see if the manual is any good. It's more of an art book than anything. Yeah, it's a mini art book, concept art. Would have been dope if they had like, um, they have more background and lore for the characters, you know, story, you know, what Wave Tale is all about. And it even has a manual on here, so. Oh, then again, my bad. They do have the background lore right here on the characters. Kinda don't like how they drew them. Okay, I guess it's a manual slash art book. I'm not gonna argue with that. Let's take a look at these art cards. Nothing super impressive. And you got a super rare sticker. Let's look at the contents. That's gonna do it folks for the unboxing if you're new to my channel you already know what to do like and subscribe and see you next video and thanks for your support